Basil? Well, today we find ourselves in the kitchen. Now, if you were here with me, I'd probably have you sit right up here on this counter and talk to me while I'm making you some food. And so since I've spent so much time talking, I thought, why don't I let you spend a little time talking? I want to hear what's going on with you. Because if you were sitting here with me right now, I'd probably maybe go off on a rant about something and you tell me, it's okay, you got this. And I'd say, how's school going? Tell me about something about your friends. And so, while we're checking on our water to boil here, I want you to tell me something about what's going on at school. Or something about what's going on with your friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Or maybe something about where you're at right now. How you like your new place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll keep doing some stuff here. A few things out. Okay, well I guess go we'll back to me talking for a minute. One of the things I realized that I missed about you that rather surprised me was making food for you. I haven't really been cooking too much, but I really miss making little lunches and dinners for you. Usually it'd be a sandwich and a quesadilla or something like that with some fruits and vegetables on there. I really loved making you little plates. So today, I'm gonna make some food for you. Uh, it's a really simple dish, an unbelievably simple dish, in fact, um, but one that you really enjoyed, and it's called butter noodles. It's very simple, something I enjoyed with as a child, but there are a few uh, techniques that make it just like you like it, and I recall you uh, liking it quite a bit. And so we'll do this extremely simple cooking video and uh just real quick i'll tell you something about my childhood uh, when i was about 10 years old i made a cooking with john video and this was back in the day when making videos wasn't so easy honestly not everybody had a camera expensive and hard to get um, editing footage together was rather difficult and so when i made it when i was 10 people were rather impressed. Now it was a very simple video. Uh, all I did was make ramen noodles um, and do kind of a send up of cooking shows. Um, and so we're gonna do a simple thing now. Um, it turns out I, I lost those videos so I don't have a record of it. But uh, you know, having told you about it and having it live on in this form, uh, I think that's enough for me. And so we're gonna recreate it a little bit today as I'm going to make you some butter noodles and then we'll do our uh, rituals and themes and then we'll uh, come back and do something else next time. Now I will say before we get started talking about cooking for you is one of my favorite things. As soon as I said that I had a couple of other thoughts. So let me, let me think about it. And uh, next episode, I'll tell you exactly what I was thinking about, okay? So look at me thinking about it. See if you can guess what I'm thinking about. After saying cooking for you is one of my favorite things.
Okay. Well, that's my thought. We've had a couple of your thoughts and things you told me as you were sitting up on the counter here. It looks like our water is about ready to boil. And here's what we'll do. While our noodles are cooking, we'll go and do our other ritual things, come back, and then I'll serve you the meal. How about that? Alright, so this is really simple here. We're just going to do some spaghetti, something classic. We're going to get them cooked up once the water is boiling. We are at that point. Here's what we're going to do to make our noodles real easy. We're going to break them in half and toss them in. Spaghetti is in there. Let that get cooking. We're gonna get a timer. Alright, here we go. Setting our timer. Da -da. There we go. We got our timer set. There's noodles cooked up. So, I missed a couple of days since the last video. Um, let me get my noodles stirred up here a little bit. Okay, so, basil. Missed a couple of uh, days since the last video. Um, turns out these are hard to get together, uh, but I will get in the rhythm of it. So I missed a couple of days, so since we didn't do it every three days, we're a little bit backlogged on our treasure chest that we're making. And so let's go through and cover the days we missed, and then this time, all right, here we go. Let's go get our secret stash here. Here it is. Here's our secret treasure chest. So since the last time, we missed a day. So we got a 10 for that day, for that three days later. In we go. Boop, boop, boop. So that's 10 bucks. And we also got for the next day, two fives. Little math here, two fives equals $10. Exactly the same. So in we go with two fives. And now here's today's 10 spot. But instead of a 10 or two fives, we have 10 ones. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we go into the treasure chest. We're gonna make it nice and small so there's plenty of room in here. Let me just tie this up. And then we go for safekeeping. And in we go. Right back here. Hide that. And now let's stir our noodles again. Here we go. Let's give it a good stir. Just so we don't get any sticking on the bottom. Again, simple as a recipe can get, but a couple of things you want to do to make sure it turns out right. Okay, so while that's going, we'll go out and we'll see what I can do on the feet of strength. See if I can do any improvements. Uh, since the last time, I did maybe one or two little workout things. Um, the last few days, I've been uh, particularly lazy. 
doing a lot of stuff. I uh, haven't had it up to uh, do any workouts. So since I'm a little backed up, maybe I can have a good performance here. We'll see what happens. All right. So last time was five. Let's see what I can get this time. Well, I better call it there. Um, did get six. Let it be noted, an improvement of one. Um, felt okay. It's a little hot in here. So I feel like that's not helping my performance. Also, it's starting to kind of hurt my hand on that one a little bit. So I'm not sure if I had the best form in the world, but we did make some improvement. We did get one more. And we did get our ritual workout done. And so, we've got a little something for you. We've got a little something other to measure some kind of progress. Something consistently we can do to try to train ourselves. And I guess now let's go see where we are with lunch. Okay, so that says that's done. Might be a little early, so now what we want to do is check our pasta to see if it's cooked through. Um, we want to get them so they're fully cooked but not mushy, which is called an Italian al dente. You can already tell that they're not done. A little bit longer on that. Couple more minutes. So, why don't you tell me what else you're up to, Basil? Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. say that I you know doing these videos I have found that I have almost too many things to say so it has been difficult to you know narrow it down and but I think like I said I think I'm getting in the rhythm of it I'm coming around to it all right and these noodles are pretty close so you normally do when you're making pasta is you want to drain the pasta in a colander. Okay, something, something like this. But for the butter noodles, one of the keys to it, to getting it done right, one of the little techniques and tips that makes it really good is we're not going to use a colander. We're going to get some of that hot water right out of here and make your butter, butter noodles on the plate. So that's what we're gonna do. We will strain a little bit with the colander at the end, but what we're gonna do to make you up a plate of butter noodles, so they're nice and buttery and hot, as fresh as possible, we're gonna do a slightly different technique. All right, let's wait for the noodles to get done here. Let's try them again. Close, but needed maybe a 
in a couple of minutes. We'll need to have a minute or two. Okay, well they, these uh, noodles are finishing up, get them just right. Show you the other things we've got in the butter noodles. First and most obviously, butter. Uh, please not margarine, please go butter. Uh, I'm gonna do a little salt in there. I don't wanna overdo it with the salt, but I do wanna get the salt. And the other thing to butter noodles is the Parmesan cheese. Now, when I was a kid, we had powdered Parmesan, which will work in a pinch, but I do say a good Parmesan like this, a good shredded real Parmesan is the way to go and is pretty sure what I use for you almost all the time and the butter noodles I would make for you. All right, let's see where we are with this. I think we're about ready to make a plate. Okay, I think we're right there. I think we are right there. So normally, this is where you'd be in the other room watching a show, and I'd be making noise in the kitchen and bring it out to you for a delicious meal. But you're gonna get to see inside the process this time. Again, very simple, but a couple of techniques we wanna honor. The first one is, we want to go right out of the water onto the plate, get some of that boiling hot water in here. Okay, so I'm going to scoop up however much I think you would like. Go right onto the plate. I just have a fork, but if you had a good um, uh, I'm just using a fork here, but if you had a good pasta, I don't know, one of those little utensils, a little pasta utensil be better. All right, so I think that's a good size plate for you. Let it right in there. And while we got that boiling hot water still in there, now we're going to come in with the butter. And so that way, even if the butter is not softened, it's going to work good here. Take this. Show you what we're doing here. So we got. We're gonna take that butter, we're gonna just use that hot water and get that butter right in there exactly how much we need. That way none of the butter is still lumpy, we don't have anything left in there. There we go. So we're gonna go here. Use my hands a little bit, maybe I'll taste it. Put it on a little bit, kind of the noodles here, a little bit more pasta in here, or a little bit more butter rather, in a pasta. So that's all gonna soak right in with that hot water. And now, still got a little bit of that. Heat in there, get everything together. Let me give you a little Parmesan. A little salt, something like that. Shakes there. Now maybe one more thing of hot noodles, just to... We had plenty of butter, so let's put some more hot noodles in there. Help melt up that good Parmesan cheese here. Okay. Get you all stirred up. Get my knife, this is probably how I do it. My knife. And then, one of the most important things, as any good cook, or any decent cook, or any cook who cares, and loves who they're cooking for, I'm gonna taste it. Make sure to taste this right. Maybe a touch more salt. If I did it for myself, maybe a little pepper. But I think for you, it's just right. It's buttery, but not over the top. It's cheesy, but not in a cheese whiz kind of a way where it's just a gross amount of cheese. It's just got some nice melted cheese in there, a little bit of salt, enough butter to keep it interesting, to keep it lubricated, but not so much that you feel like you're eating a big plate of butter. 
Okay, so here we go. There's your plate of butter noodles. You maybe watch a show, or if we were here right now, maybe I just had you sitting on the counter and just throw them down. So, should we pretend like we're watching a show? Or should we actually just eat them? I don't know. Let me drain the rest of these and maybe have one more bite. I'm eating the butter noodles. And I gotta say, not bad. So, I am just going to eat this plate. Before I go to work, and hopefully, I will get to make some food for you soon. Maybe butter noodles, maybe something new. Maybe we'll come up with a new recipe. But this, this will work for a snack before work, so. So I guess I'll eat this pasta later. Okay, so when we come back for the next episode, we'll do something different, but we'll begin with what I was thinking about in this episode. After I said how much I miss cooking for you, I had some thoughts. I was kind of counting stuff in my head. What was I thinking about? We'll cover that first in the next episode, go back to more of our themes and rituals, and do some new stuff too. All right, girl, love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.